But then, and then, you know, you've got somebody like, uh, uh, is it George Peterson who passed away? What's his name? Uh, yeah, George Peterson. Yeah, George yeah. Peterson passed away. Look, the guy was taking so many fakes, steroids. Do you know that? I didn't know that. No, no, no like, basically, uh, when they did the inquest, uh, they tested him for Mastron, they tested him for Trent, they tested him for uh, Anavar, you know, Clembutra, all the drugs what you would be taking before the Arnold Classic, eh? negative, negative, negative. What? He was only taking tests, and he was taking Equipose, which was nearly out of his system. Okay. And this is a pro who can't get real gear. Right. The problem is then, Giles, we're living in uh, what's an industry now where people are taking advantage of people. And it's, and it's basically bod people who aren't bodybuilders are making money off dumb bodybuilders. Hmm. Because at the end of the day, there's too much fake gear about. Yeah. And then people are going to be taking whatever. And they're thinking... That's the problem. Yeah, and you've, got, and you've got people saying, oh, I need to take more gear because it's it's not working on me. No, it's not that's not do, working do you know on what you. really scares me is when, um, like, the compounds that, like, female athletes will take, oh. like, they're very expensive raw materials and they're the most faked. Yeah. So if they think they're on... I always I, say to them, look, if you're going to do that, you get the best quality stuff that you can possibly I, source. Otherwise, I, it ain't what you're taking. And you could be taking... You think you're taking Primo, you're actually taking Tremblone. And what would Tremblone do to a woman's body? Yeah, yeah exactly. <gasps> like, Irreversible. Yeah, and that's why I tell most girls, eh, I say to them, listen, you know, the chances are, eh, if you're take, thinking you're taking Anovar, you're not taking Anovar, especially from the companies you're telling me you're taking. Yeah. Especially from the coaches who are giving you this. Mm. And your coaches will know mm. <laughs> exactly what it is. Because at the end of the day, you're a client. They're making money off your online coaching. They're making money off selling you gear. Double whammy for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you got like, you know, and most girls think they're taking Prima. They're not taking Prima. Definitely. Yeah, I've got I, knowledge on I, this. And I said to them, like, you're honestly thinking you're taking Anawa uh, when you got funny flaps hanging down like a bulldog <laughs> fucking nutsack. <laughs> Come on, let's be realistic here. Let, let, <laughs> yes, well, the, the, the girls need to talk to this. Let's not be delusional. I, know, I, know, I, know. Like a, I a, think you see a lot of women that come and go in the industry. They'll, they'll they'll pop up and then that's it. And then you never see or hear from them again. And then you hear these horror stories years listen, later. Listen, mostly, like I know a girl and she says to me, oh, I'm taking tests and I'm taking oh. yeah, this. And she goes to me, yeah, but I love it. I go, what do you mean you love? She goes, oh, I love the way it makes me feel. And she goes, oh, I can wear my panties and it makes me come. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm saying to her, love, listen yeah. to me. Now, now that feeling is fine. Yeah, you're fine now mm. because you know what? Carry on doing that for another five years. You're going to have more facial hair than me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna have true, true. you're gonna have you're gonna have a hairy fucking bum hole. You're gonna be a fucking you, basically all these side effects you're not gonna see now. Yeah, and then yeah. It's, they're gonna be hair loss. Hair yeah, loss. yeah. How many how many of these uh, after, yeah wearing wigs and stuff like that? Yeah, so, yeah. and it's gonna be irreversible. I know. I go, there's gonna be a day where it's gonna come and you're gonna say, you know what? Uh, I wish I want a family now. And let's be realistic. Eh? You know, people have been talking about. You know, like transgenders, yeah? Mm -hmm. We've been living with transgenders for years in bodybuilding industry. Let's be realistic. Most of these women look like men. Mm -hmm. Like, no disrespect. Like, you know, like, 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 come on, it's not normal for a woman to have 20 inch arms, is it? You know what I mean? No. Quads, like, you know what I mean? 35 inches. Like, let's look at these, you know, all respect to these women, you know, what they do and everything. But I just think to myself, like, there has to be.